Uh, thank you, Josh. I want to thank you for the kind introduction, but more importantly for what you do every day. Uh, as you said, I'm Rich Trunk. I'm president of the AFL-CIO, and I want to thank you for joining us at the AFL-CIO today uh, for the 2012 D.C. Labor Film Fest screening of We Are Wisconsin. Uh, before I say a little bit more about, about that, I just really do want to reemphasize something that you said. Uh, Twelve years ago, Tony Mazaki came to me and he talked about the same idea, uh, and we were I worked with him at that time. But Tony uh, spent a lifetime representing working people. Uh, he died ten years ago now, uh, and uh, we've missed him ever since. And I just wanted to note that uh, I'm sure Tony is here with us, at least in spirit. Uh, and the other thing I want to do before I get started is just say uh, a few words about this absolutely wonderful film festival. Uh, as Josh said, it's the 12th year running, uh, and it's another lineup of important and entertaining movies. Uh, the credit for this festival really goes to its organizers, and that is the DC Metro Council, uh, and AFSCME, uh, and WTU Local 6, uh, which has supported the festival in so many ways. I'd ask you to join me in a round of applause for the DC Labor Film Fest. <laughs> we all too frequently forget about our culture. Uh, and the Film Fest helps us remember that in so many ways. It records it, it helps us understand it, it buoys us up when we're down, uh, it does so many things. And when we, we look back on the heroes and the leaders of labor history, we see women and we see men who stood up and said what other people thought, but either couldn't, wouldn't, or didn't say. And we see that to speak out was a, a tough act of courage, and it was risky. Uh, but in the right conditions, that act of courage could be a spark in tinder. It could ignite movements and ultimately bring about tremendous positive change. Now art sometimes allows us a vantage point to see those sparks all around us. And art can certainly bring alive the struggles of the past. By witnessing the stories of those struggles, we can actually learn from them. And we can imagine a similar transformation today. So I'm so glad that we're screening We Are Wisconsin today because it gives us new focus to the unbelievable uh, and electric energy of the Wisconsin movement, of uh, the Midwest uprising. Now, who would have imagined that in a matter of a few days in early 2011, the national debate would be seized by working people and turned from deficit hysteria uh, to a conversation about jobs and the middle class and collective bargaining. This wasn't one union calling on members to turn out. It wasn't the AFL-CIO making a call. It wasn't the Democratic Party, and it wasn't the Obama organization. We saw a true bottom-up grassroots movement with its own momentum. A true spontaneous outcry against our disastrous winner-take-all political culture. And I traveled, like many of you, to Wisconsin, and I saw the crowd swell by the tens of thousands, and then topping 100,000. Uh, I saw students and steel workers who had been sleeping in the Capitol for what already felt like forever. I saw teachers and public workers with their families. I saw the building trades feeding thousands of people. I saw farmers and families from all walks of life. People who had no direct personal stake in the Wisconsin political fight, all rallying to support the good middle-class jobs and rights of Wisconsin public employees. In this film, you'll see this movement grow from the grassroots level. And I think you'll find it inspiring and touching 
and it may even move uh, a few of us to tears. I do hope it moves all of us to action. See, what an amazing thing it is to see a movement appear and grow like that. See, it's our responsibility as progressives and as labor activists to see this movement continues to grow and spread because this is our movement. Whether or not you're in Wisconsin, because as the title says, we, we are Wisconsin. This is our struggle, this is our fight, and it belongs to all of us when we stand together. I think we are Wisconsin should be seen by everyone who hopes for lasting and real social justice and economic change in America. There are many great movies about labor, political movements in America, but this stands among the best of them. I want to thank you once again for coming, and I hope you enjoy the show.